<laughs> uh, no, I've been playing since I was 13, so 15 years now. Uh, I started off playing like punk and like ska music, mm-hmm. late as 90s, you, early well 2000s. Sure. Yes. Uh, and then, I mean, really, I haven't. I played in a band called Astronaut Bath, which I plan on bringing a few songs back for what I'm doing now. But Oh, cool. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Uh, so, where were you been playing out? In, in no, not yet. So, I'm, you're just kind of hanging back and just writing and getting ready. And, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's, there's going to be a full band eventually. Oh, really cool. But, so, have uh, you got like a, a, an album planned? I mean, yeah, I mean, I've got like enough songs for that. Yeah. And yeah. I'm working on a concept for it. And cool. You know, Cool. So, have, you, have you picked out a place to record yet? Are you going to record no, at home? Not or? yet. Yeah. Early stages. Yeah. Uh, we understand that very <laughs> Those well. Are among the most fun right stages of the Well, they are fun stages. I mean, that, that, that whole process is like, you know, when you demo the stuff and then you listen to it over and over in your car. Yeah. And it starts to take shape in your head. And then, like, I know with, with him, I mean, we'll, we'll email, what if we do this at the end of this song? What if we add this to this song? What if we modulate that second <laughs> verse and do something <laughs> crazy? Well, that's yeah. what I've been doing with a lot of my old songs, too, is just bringing them back and kind of tweaking them out. And, mm-hmm. you know. So you're going to turn, like, punk into sort of alternative <laughs> indie folk? Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> punk was like roots. It's not really, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if my stuff now you could say it was influenced by punk, but... Well, I mean, I what, just the one song I heard is, is kind of like indie rock folk. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past couple of years, just yeah. playing by myself. I haven't even been playing out, you know, I'm just yeah. right now trying to get back into it. So. There are plenty of places to play around town. Oh, you I do. know, yeah. Why don't you open a, a show for us sometime? Awesome, yeah. Just I'd maybe play to. like a 30-minute set or something, because cool. I think it'd fit right in. I'll do it. I mean, okay, absolutely. fun, fun. Well, let's let's plan for that. Uh, maybe uh, we, we just, I think we've got a show booked at the Haymarket. Maybe that would be a good one. Yeah, maybe we could get January tenth. Uh, write it down, Adam. Yeah, maybe we could right. get Adam in <laughs> to play a short set. You know, even if it's just if the like world doesn't end. Five or six songs. Which, yeah, well, oh, this is true. It's well, I let yeah. I mean, obviously, it's going to, but we you know. No. We need to book just in case. We just want to have a contingency plan in case we're all still here yeah. on the twenty second. Because <laughs> then I'm about to pay rent again. We all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hope my landlord's not listening. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so uh, Adam's gonna g- just kick it off, play us a song. Uh, what what right song on. are you gonna play? Mm-hmm. Well, might as well do the one you guys played, Dick Van Dyke. Okay, yeah. we love this. We love yeah, this too. Let's uh, let's just run into it, and then afterward we can have him tell us exactly what the hell it's about. No, <laughs> I think yeah, it does. Uh, it does uh, <laughs> beg for some explaining, does it? Not? <laughs> some explaining. <laughs> All right, here we go. To do. Yeah. Talented singer songwriter Adam Crowhorn. Thank you. Packing up and walking out the door Sounds as good as it ever has before Watching boxes stacking on the floor She's not my Mary Tyler anymore Dick Van Dyke I wanna keep it black and white Like Dick Van Dyke And I want a wardrobe like Dick Van Dyke And tie my tie real tight Like Dick Van Dyke I hang around here down to the core Texas never really had me floor Take me back to 1994 Back when my Polly always was for sure And I wanna be just like Dick Van Dyke I wanna keep it black and white like Dick Van Dyke And I want a wardrobe like Dick Van Dyke I'm gonna tie my tie real tight Like Dick Van Dyke Watching boxes stacking on the floor Tyler anymore 
take me back to 1994 Back when my Polly always was for sure And I wanna be just like Dick Van Dyke Wanna keep it black and white like Dick Van Dyke Wow, very nice. That is Thank awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. And the crowd goes wild. Oh, we were just talking about that. Of people in here. Yeah. Yeah, because we can't make that much noise just ourselves. No, I mean, that was so, impressive. <laughs> but that was... That was, uh, it was impressive well, that it was just you guys, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's good you're doing the show, Adam. I mean, it's time for you to get out in the world with talent yeah, like I mean, that. Yeah, uh, thank you guys for having me. It's... Uh, this is the first time I've ever been on radio, done anything like that. So it's our first time, I too, agree. so. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, that's the way. Wait, no, I, it just I sounds like it week. is. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you and the band really worked out that time change. You guys all yeah. hit that. Yeah, you guys exactly. are, you've been working at this, we can tell. Well, we're <laughs> so tell us a little bit about that song and, and where it came from. Well, I, I mean, uh, the, I, I had that line, the Not My Mary Tyler anymore, and I mm-hmm. just thought it was really cool, really good. And uh, I was just at work one day, like, all right, so... Mary Tyler Moore, Dick Van Dyke, like yeah. I like the way he dresses. <laughs> right, that's yeah. like, it's interesting. Oh, that's I, I want to tie my tie stuff. real tight. Yeah. And, so is it is it like a is it a like like a life change song? So it sounds like yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I just moved from Texas, and mm-hmm. I know that line in there is like I, I I like Texas. I have lots of friends there, lots of awesome people there, but I was just ready to get out and. So that's, yeah, that line was just... So now are you from Texas and moved here? or I'm from or? here and okay. then moved mm-hmm. to Texas, and then mm-hmm. now I'm back. Okay. So there's also a Pauly Shore yeah, reference. Well, yeah, that oh, I yeah. just had to throw in. The rare Pauly Shore. Shore. <laughs> and, you know, I, like, <laughs> totally I, I'm so it. nostalgic for the 90s and, like, all that, and mm-hmm. I was like, what... Polly Shore represents the '90s pretty Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like Max Headroom represents the '80s. Oh, That's Max one of the Headroom. things that woke me up last week when we were listening. We were kind of grooving, digging it, you know. And then all of a sudden, there's a Polly Shore reference. I was like, "Hello!" <laughs> you don't get lots of Polly. You don't Shore. hear that a lot. No, that's. <laughs> that's but it's true. gold, isn't it, Kevin? That's <laughs> oh, a good thing. It's gold, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Round team. <laughs> See, there you go. 90s reference. No, oh, my God. It's I, like, I love the 90s. Like, it's not like 90s. that TV show. Like, I really love yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's good. It's 90s. I loved it then. <laughs> well, t- tonight, today is uh, 12, 12, 12. Yes, it is. So uh, It's also Frank Sinatra's 97th birthday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Kind of interesting. So. 97, but, uh, he could have made it. <laughs> yeah, he could have. In, in Wisconsin, it's Aaron Rodgers' day. They, they Green Bay, Wisconsin declared it Because he's number 12. Because he wears number 12. I mean, yeah. if he wore number 9, wouldn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, he or chose number, number 4. Four. <laughs> no, that that'll never happen again. That, no, that, green, that number Green Bay Packers been bitterness here. To hell. <laughs> Don't bring that up. Well, since Don't it's bring 12, 12, 12, 12, should we go He is the rent? quarterback who shall not be named. Nah, you know. Yeah, let's do our top. A little, we, we have a top 12 list. Oh, we, have, yeah. we have a top 12 list uh, we'd like yeah, to Yeah, my brother Lauren suggested, since it's 12, 12, 12, <laughs> instead of the top 10 list that we normally do, mm-hmm. let's do a top 12. So we threw this together in 10 minutes before the show. Yeah. As, as while, we while only drinking, bring the quality. While right? drinking grape juice, mind you. Yes. <laughs> we're going to tackle this week. Do you have the drum roll uh, kind of accessible? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. <laughs> I think I do. You think you do. <laughs> that means you don't. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> we're going to go with this week, the top 12 uh, greatest advancements of mankind. So yep. this is heavy, heavy stuff. Oh. Since we're getting towards the end of the world, you know, and we've come on this date. Like yeah, this, this is the stuff triple we're going to miss when we're all dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Number 12. <laughs> Lip balm. Yes. <laughs> Burt's Bees, obviously, man. Uh, that's obviously a good one. I mean, where would we be without it? You know, yeah, We'd honestly, be all dry lips. I'd be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> you be fine. Oh, man. <laughs> it's because he's With got this. Soft, smooth lips. See, talented yeah. singer-songwriter Adam Crowhorn's kind of a smart Alex <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. I it's said we were going to choke around. Man. I think it's something about his his hipster beard protects his lips oh, from the elements. Oh, that could be, yeah, from the wind and the. I just yeah, figured that out. Maybe I'm going to start dude. working on one. <laughs> he's got the flannel. I'm not yeah. a hipster. <laughs> <laughs> I chop wood. <laughs> 
He's a lover jack and he's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right. He works all night, <laughs> all night and he works all day. Okay. Number 11. <laughs> the cordless screwdriver. Uh, Is that really what? one or... See, all my, my screwdriver now, doesn't have a cord. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that was invented. They were marketing that. I'm like, what? What? I've got 15 of those <laughs> yeah. in my toolbox. Huh? Yeah. Apparently, it was some big advantage. They I don't know. We decided to include it. They should have built that as the automatic screwdriver. So, so. I know. It was, just a, it was just a bad marketing decision. <laughs> Let's move on. Number 10. Puppy breath. See, I've is got that a, is that a, she it's it's the cute. best thing it's ever. It's not cute. It's I have a plan. Now, I've got a business model. Puppy breath cologne for men. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Women like oh, okay. her. All right. Forget about that body spray it. stuff. <laughs> you walk into a room with that on, oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't. There's you no got, you got all the interns on the planet talking <laughs> to you. You got to smell it on yourself. It's so good. <laughs> hey, I like it. I like oh. it. All right. Well, on. as I say, we, we did hastily prepare this list. Yeah. Number nine. Bubble wrap. See? I like bubble, bubble wrap. wrap. It's, it's useful. And I'm with that. Lightweight. And it's also entertaining. <laughs> it's, a <laughs> toy. it's like a toy. It's a toy. I think that's the best use of bubble wrap is, you know, just to kind of Well, the, that's I mean, some, you yeah. pull the you pull whatever you've ordered out of the out of the box and then you're like, I'll get to that later. Right now <laughs> I got bubble wrap. My dog exactly. hates it, but you know. <laughs> Number eight. The corn dog. Come on. <laughs> oh, see, Adam. I know I'm going to disappoint everyone. Meat and this. breading. I don't like corn. Dogs. On a stick. Tell us a meal on a stick. Everyone I Adam. know loves them, and I can't. When I was a kid, <laughs> I had I had one at a, at a carnival, and, and the inside was green. I never ate another one. <laughs> I've never eaten one since then. I was like eight years old. <laughs> it's yeah. just the convenience of it. You it know? is right. You I get, imagine you could live on them. You don't have to worry about the meat falling out of the bread. It's just there. No it's utensils necessary. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to worry about the meat and the bread. It's weird. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Number, Number seven. <laughs> Dryer sheets. Yes. <laughs> yeah. See, there you go. <laughs> yes. I, I would not smell as good as I smell today without dryer sheets. I just wished everything smelled like dryer sheets. Really, you know, it should. My car, my my hair, house, my yeah, hair, yeah. my yeah. dog's butt. All <laughs> you, just, you just rub them all over you before you go out. I leave them in my car, and my car smells fantastic. It, it, wow. it reduces yeah. See, stri- static go. electricity, as, a, yeah. as I'm told. That's what I've heard. <laughs> Number six, spam. I would not know. the kind yeah, on the can, internet. You can eat it raw. The mystery can, meat you can fry in a can. It. Now this it. is one thing that will survive the apocalypse. Yeah, because it'll be it'll never. It's like the Twinkie; it'll never go bad. It, it exactly. The Twinkie and probably it, should be on the, this and list. And the cockroaches won't eat it. Exactly. So. But <laughs> spam. As long as you don't open the can or puncture the can, I would guess that it has an unlimited shelf life. I would life. think so. Like forever, it I will. I would last. think so. Yeah. Number. It's one of those things. Hold on. It's like <laughs> it's like sauerkraut. You got to keep going on the spam. It's yeah. like sauerkraut. Like, how do you know if it goes bad? Does it start to smell good? <laughs> Okay. Probably so. Oh, Number right. five. Cheese curd. Yes. <laughs> Wisconsinites. Come on. Right, is that, right. is cheese curd right. a thing other than like... Uh, cheese curd is a delicacy, Cottage dude. cheese? Is yeah, it? it's a delicacy. They sell it like in packs and it's a delicacy, man. I just If you're from Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. Minnesota. <laughs> All right. The number four advancement of mankind. Lawn darts. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, it's, sure. It's a it's, it's a fun. weapon. It's as a game. A toy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a it's game dangerous. and a it's, weapon. You do it in your it's, backyard. So it adds an element of like fun. of like suspense to the family barbecue <laughs> that wasn't there previously. That's true. I mean, the 1960s were. Oh, Speaking God, of, so you, much. you'll put your eye out. Number three, the cotton gin. The cotton. <laughs> come on. Yeah. I mean, what Eli would Whitney. Be? Yeah, we I would mean, all be naked right now. Yeah, not <laughs> talented singer songwriters Adam Crowhorn's uh, flannel shirt wouldn't be here without the that cotton. Is, I'm assuming no, number that two. Would be very sad. <laughs> the remote control. Oh, yeah, one of my personal that. favorites. My favorite. Come on, I mean, you guys are too young to it's not debatable. You guys yeah, don't remember yeah. having to get up oh, to change the I remember I had one in my room. Did you really? When oh, I was a yeah. kid, I used so, to watch yeah. Johnny Carson every night. I had to turn the. <laughs> Thing yeah. to get the right channel because there's like three Johnny Carsons, only one of them. Came I mean, in Americans clear. have uh, earned the right to be lazy slobs, I think, yeah. and the remote control helped make it happen. Yeah, that is truly I mean, a, a nice. The mother, I mean, the mother invention. There you go. Okay, number one advancement of mankind: 
high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> yeah, we drink it every day and we love it. And that's another thing. I wish yeah, that down. was in everything because I enjoy it. It probably is, yeah, in, I think everything. It is in everything. Yeah. Pepsi sure tastes sweet. <laughs> There's no sugar involved. Oh, no. Okay, let's get back to Adam Crowhorn. Okay. Talented singer, songer, songwriter. Songer, I like that. Songer. I'm a singer, songer. Singer, songer, Adam Crowhorn. Singer, songer. <laughs> that could be a new thing. That's kind of a good marketing angle. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it? cheaper. Singer, it's like, <laughs> it's like I mean, you call somebody a busker. Why aren't they a songer? Songer. Well, that's true. You know? I do songs. I'm a songer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, okay. So um, we're going to get him to play another song. Um, yes. Talk to us about who your 90s influences were. Obviously, they were 90s people. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gin Blossoms are in there. Oh, Dinosaur yes. Jr. is in there. Yeah. Even though, whatever. They've been around for like three decades, but 90s. Right. But that's when pe- everyone yeah. heard about them. Uh, I mean... Uh, the Proclaimers? Stuff, yeah. <laughs> the Proclaimers. <laughs> Tears for I, Fear I, is pretty yeah. obviously Tears. in your sound, you know. Because I would yeah. never walk. <laughs> well, the Gin Blossoms, I mean, that, that was a yeah. band that... That had you know that that one big album and then it was the the that was my first show ever I saw them I saw Cracker oh, and I saw the Spin Doctors all in one show wow so, what a show first show I'm yeah. a big uh, fan of Cracker that's Cracker's a, great Cracker's and great. Uh, he was in Camper Van Beethoven yeah, before that yep yeah, yep yeah. a lot of people I love, I've that. got a couple yeah I've got a couple of their albums too good <coughs> good stuff but it's so this is so this good. sort of explains uh, his quirky yeah, approach to songwriting. Yeah, I just I'm a weirdo. <laughs> write weirdo songs. That's but no, we, we we appreciate that greatly. Yeah, we <laughs> we we welcome weirdo songs here. This we is the do. home of weirdo songs. It is the home of weirdo songs and uh, the home of grape juice. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, talk about what you're going to play for us now. Uh, this is an old one. I wrote this probably like ten years ago, maybe. So not uh, even in the '90s. Yeah, I did it with a band in I was in day. called Astronaut Bath. Okay. Uh, <laughs> bringing it back. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, I haven't played in a while, so it might might be rusty. We forgive you. We'll we'll see how it goes. We forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> This right here. Uh, this is Bob Dylan's plumber. 
When I'm not attending to Bob Dylan's plumbing concerns, I listen to Flies on the Wall. What's that, like a radio show? Sounds dumb. We always get the best celebrities to yes, yes, promote our show. Wow. Bob Dylan's plumber? <laughs> Pretty impressive, no? <laughs> yeah. it's amazing. We had to pay that guy 25 bucks to do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that Astronaut was, Bath. Yeah, talk to, to us about that song and about the, that band. And, and uh, uh, yeah, that was a band. Uh, with my friend Austin, a uh, good friend of mine. We now uh, is this Louisville or Texas? This is Texas. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got together. Funny, his name was Austin. Yeah, <laughs> and his label's last name's Germany. So he's like, got two place names. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Very confusing. <laughs> well, we got together, we met, and uh, I mean, started playing pretty much right away, and it just made sense. It was just happening. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we wrote a bunch of songs together, yeah. and that was one of them. Was that a co-write? Yeah, that was. I wrote all the lyrics to that, mm -hmm. but we most of the music we kind of just collaborated on, mm -hmm. like you know, mm -hmm. each each write our own part. Good and stuff. That's nice. Yeah, what, it's what really good. What inspired that song? <laughs> That one's totally random. I really can't explain that one. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's been 10 years since I wrote that. You can't handle the truth, Kevin. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to go there, apparently. Well, I mean, because like, writing songs is kind of a way to just get all that whatever mm -hmm. that's in there out. So it's like you can't really well, explain what it is. That's what I try to tell people is that like, sometimes like even if you write like a love song, you know, as soon as it's done, it, it does. It's no longer about the person you wrote it about. It's yeah. just the song. It's just out there. Yeah. It's no longer about you yeah. know what you're. I mean, feeling most of my songs are just made up stories. In and my that's head. so are most of ours. But yeah. <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> but even even if you write something that is emotional, once you finish it, once it's done, you move on, and it's it's no longer about what you wrote it about. It's about whatever it needs to be about. Yeah, and I try so. to keep everything vague anyway, so everyone can relate to it. Like yeah. I don't, yeah. You write anything super that's, that's specific about me. That's the ticket to stardom, me. man. That's the ticket yeah. to stardom. <laughs> well, I, thank you. I hope, I hope so. Maybe. <laughs> I hope kind of so. I want to be like that. Okay. I think we're getting about the midway point now. We're close. We, you you want to have a field report? I think we should have. We should turn it over to Shayna, the intern. Adam okay. Crowhorn's. Uh, sing, talented singer-songwriter. Talent, talented singer-songwriter. Adam Crowhorn's better half. <laughs> so. Thank you. Nice now, who did we go see this this time, Shana? Uh, Jessica Lee Mayfield and David Mayfield. Um, Adam. A are, they, are they related? A, they are brother and sister. Yes. Okay. Yes. Short They're awesome. Brother. Um, Adam accompanied <laughs> me last night uh, to see them at Zanzibar. Um, now, usually Jessica and David are in separate bands, but they're currently on tour playing as an acoustic duo appropriately titled the Sibling Rivalry Tour. Um, the siblings from Ken, Ohio are only visiting 13 eastern locations in the U.S., and we were incredibly thankful they stopped in Louisville last night to put on an awesome show in an intimate setting. Z-Bar. Oh, Z-Bar. Yeah. was a Z-Bar. My only complaint the was the... Uh, Food's good, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you get to try the food? <laughs> my only complaint, though, was uh, the man obstructing my view who slightly resembled a large version of Mark Twain. Giant Mark Twain. <laughs> really? Right I just stared at the time. back of that guy's head. Are you sure head. it wasn't Samuel then, Clemens? Uh, he was blocking the whole show. <laughs> And then when we were talking, he turns around. He's like, "Shh." Oh, like, well, we oh no! At the end of every song, I made you. sure I was like, "What?" Well, like in his room ear, is, just, yeah, ah. that room is such. If there's a giant Mark Twain at the front, <laughs> no one's going to see it. No, I Einstein. saw Jonathan he Richmond. Been Einstein. We didn't see the front. Yeah, I saw Jonathan Richmond there and had to walk down front and push my way through just to make sure it was really him. Because <laughs> I wanted to at least see him once. Yeah. 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 Was this the hipster Mark Twain? I think I might have no, seen that. He's no, like this is just straight up Mark Twain. Straight uh, up. Leather, so black like, leather jacket Mark Twain. He wasn't wearing like a Green Lantern t-shirt. <laughs> Slash possible <laughs> Einstein. We didn't really see his face. It may be the nephew of Colonel Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. He was very rude. Well, yeah, he's got a, he's got a glandular problem, better from doesn't he? He's the era of a fried chicken he's empire. He's got a thyroid issue, too. Does so, he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. Sh sh <laughs> sorry, it's Shana. Okay. We don't need to mean to it's mess right, up your report. It's all right, guys. Um, now, David, who plays in the band, the David Mayfield Parade, has toured often with the Avett Brothers, and Jessica Lee Mayfield and her backing band were recently in Louisville opening for um, Langhorn Slim. The duo will be playing tonight in Lexington at um, Cosmic Charles. Instead of playing the usual songs they're known for, at last night's show, they covered artists such as the great Hank Williams and gospel songs, only touching on a few songs from their own personal catalogs. Um, both artists are heavily influenced by bluegrass and folk, growing up in a musical family and even playing in a family band at a very young age. Um, together, their voices create a rich, soulful sound, and David's talent on both the guitar and mandolin was so mesmerizing that you hardly miss their backing bands. 
Um, I still missed them a little bit. I missed them. I missed them. Uh, they were great. Though. They were great. David <coughs> even made the ladies in the audience swoon with his portly belly, thick beard, and sexy red pants. He even showed off his <laughs> dance moves and pulled. So was he Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> it's sexy huh? Santa Claus. I didn't realize. <laughs> really I was talking about pants Santa. Nice, Did it shake when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly <laughs> by, by chance? Anyway, go yeah. ahead. Sorry. Uh, well, he pulled this like. Uh, Oops, I dropped my pick maneuver and showed off his tuchus. <laughs> Dude, well, he was pretending time. like he was going to throw it out, and then he's just like, that's pretty funny. It was. I realize you can't really hear that on the radio. And I just <laughs> <laughs> you have to use words on the radio. <laughs> the opener for David and Jessica was Ian No, a young Kentuckian from Beattyville whose sound was heavily influenced by Towns Van Zant. Though he didn't have much to say at all. Uh, when you're the opener, it's best not stage. to talk much. Yeah. I mean, but nothing. Like, nothing. nothing like, I'm Ian No, no, like, thank you for coming out. Here's my yeah. EP, nothing. Um, I dropped my pick. <laughs> <laughs> Check out pick my dropping. <laughs> 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 but while on stage, his songs were introspective and somber. Um, and he will actually be playing again at Zanzibar on January 9th with Alana Fugate, Nikki Lane, and Joe Fletcher. Um, cool. Yeah, following cool. the uh, sibling rivalry tour, the David Mayfield Parade doesn't currently have any tours listed, but Jessica Lee Mayfield will be um, will begin opening for Rhett Miller on his U.S. tour. Oh, cool. From old Love. 97s. Yeah. Love Rhett Miller. Who are coming to town. In yeah, January, was right? that March oh, or they? something? Or? It's going to be yeah. awesome. Yeah. Man, I've seen them several times. Really? I have not seen them. Not yet. I, from, what a rocket show. I lived show. in Dallas, Texas for like 10 years. And never seen them. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. I've seen them probably it's five travesty. times. They're, they're great. <laughs> I just hear I hear they like play for hours and it's it's crazy. Awesome. Yeah, and the, the the energy level is off the charts. Yeah, it's, yeah. So oh, well, they're a great band. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And Shana, thank you. You're welcome. For the, are you going to have another one another for us next report? week, you think? Or? something coming up on Saturday. Yeah, I think there? you should uh, uh, cover that. We're, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a... What's, what's Digby, that about? The, the great <laughs> be there a B-Square <laughs> event there. The great and powerful Digby yes. uh, is playing an all-original show. At they Ghost don't Wars. roll it out all that often. They don't. And they you know they, they kind of do their own thing now. A couple of them are married. and, and uh, Well, three of them are married. And four... No, they're all married. Oh my God! Are they all married They're now? All married now. Yeah. So then got married. So they don't play out as much as they used to, and when they do, it's always a, a, a fun affair. Their fans come out, and they they really leave it all on stage. And good people. And high quality people, entertainment. Yeah. I've known those guys for years, and they're just wonderful people. And uh, yeah, they, they invited us to open for them, and that's going to be our official CD release party for our new EP, A Very House Flies Christmas. And we're gonna yeah. we're gonna play a song for you off that at the end of the show. And uh, that's at Gerstel's. Gerstel's Tavern in St. Matthew's. Gerstel's is really looking good these days. They've yeah, uh, yeah. remodeled, and it's a, so I hear. It's a fine yeah. venue. So, yeah. and, and, uh, so you guys are going to make it out excited. there. We'll yeah. be there. Great. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be fun. Yeah, so maybe great. we'll get a Digby report next week. And Have you seen Digby before, Shana? Never. Okay. Well, oh, the have, you ever heard of the, have you ever heard of the Scottish band Travis? Yeah. You okay. Have, the, the, this is this is the, the probably the best comparison really? that I can make okay. with Digby. And they... they Adore Travis. In fact, I went to Chicago with the lead singer and the bass player to see Travis probably three or four years ago. And nice. man, yeah. So they're they're they'll pro in fact they'll probably do at least one Travis song in their set. So I can't wait for that myself because I'm a Travis <laughs> fanatic. That would be a travesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't. I couldn't have been. You're just waiting for I that. Was, I was waiting. God, dude. <laughs> you gotta do that to me. I'm just waiting for the opening. Why just pop that oh, right man. in there. Why come you gotta do that? Should um, we? Uh, what should we do now? Well, oh. let's see. Uh, oh, oh, we've hold got up. more things. Hold up. Oh, oh, what's you happening? Oh God, the phone's lighting up. Oh, okay. you know what that means? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> oh God, here we go. All right, let's see. All right, you're listening to Flies on the Wall, CrescentHillRadio.com. The boys, this here's Dale. Oh, I need God. to know what the heck you think you're doing down there. No, Dale, no, we're you, just we got your little singer songwriter friend there, little Andy Cruhair, <laughs> and you're telling your little jokes, and he's singing his little songs, and that's all well and good. Dale, what do you, do you want? not understand Dale, that the world is coming to an end one week from Friday? We know we that. No, we don't have to tell us. No, that. We're no, a, hell no. right. Listen, listen, to what I'm saying to you. This this ain't no time for for fun and games. You guys need to be prepared. And I want to know. I mean, I like you boys, and I, I you well, know, I felt you. like I needed to call thank you. Thank and make sure you're going to be okay when the when the poop <laughs> comes down. Uh, <laughs> Dale, we'll, listen, we'll be if fine. If you don't, no, no, listen to me now. Listen, no, 
if you don't have the provisions to make it through an apocalypse, then I can help you boys out. I don't mind because you've been good to me for the most part. And well, thank you. Listen, I, listen to what I got uh, underneath my double wide. I got a little bunker set up for me and my girl baby, and I got room for two more if okay, you want to well. join us. Now you're gonna have to sleep next to tap out. He snores a little and sometimes he pees, but he's he's all right otherwise. He's not going to hurt you. We know Listen we appreciate that. that. Seventy five pounds of turkey jerky. I got fifty gallons of this distilled water, and that stuff will give you the squirts a little. But you know what? <laughs> it's the end of the world, by my God. You got to make it through it the best we, way you can. We got it. Yeah. Hey, no, Thanks, listen Dad. to me. No. Can you boys I'm handle a gun? Want to go? You can. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, good. Then bring some because I ain't got but one shotgun, and I done used up most of my shells on the neighbor boy. We, so heard, we heard about that. <laughs> no, come on. Listen, listen, no, guys. We don't no, need to I, do this. I'm telling you, this is the end of the world. And I, it's no, no, all right. Well, you believe what? you want, but you know where to find me underneath the double wide. We appreciate it. I got we some are. chain link fence to block out the ugly. I'm sure there's going to be zombies or Krampus or whatnot. We I don't know what's going to happen or what's going to go down, but you're welcome to join me. I'll, 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 I'll make Dale. sure there's room right there next to Tap Out. Okay, thank you. Now listen you. what, since know. we're all about to die, would you mind playing me a Nickelback song before this you, all... You know we can't oh, do that. Oh, boys, you know that we there is weak. <laughs> Does that guy call every week? He, he does. It seems like he does. I don't. I mean, I think he does call every week. <laughs> when the poop comes down, <laughs> that was my favorite part. Yeah, doesn't the don't the Rolling Stones have a song called "When the Poop Comes Down"? I, I think you're right. Yeah, <laughs> is that on the new one? <laughs> I think it's on the new one. The, the new one title pretty good. It's the title of the new one. Oh come on! For really? old dudes, yeah, I'm, it does. I'm just kidding. Right. It sounds like a little bit like Bodeco. I'm sure it's wonderful. <laughs> I'm sure it's wonderful. You know what I think we should do. Uh, what do you think we should do? I, I hope think we're thinking it's just time a night. for the Inquisition. Good. <laughs> Finally. Talented singer-songwriter Adam Crowhorn. Yes. This is your reckoning. <laughs> okay. Are we do, ready? Do we have a set? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I, I'm ready. <laughs> the Inquisition. <laughs> Talented singer-songwriter Adam Crowhorn. Welcome to the Inquisition. Thank you. Remain seated in the chair below the swinging light bulb and do not attempt to flee. Do I have a (laughs) seatbelt? You you might need one. (laughs) You may receive some leniency based on speed and brevity of answers. Our audience and ourselves hope to learn something about you. And perhaps more importantly, you may well learn something about yourself. I'll look in there. That usually is the case, Texas boy. (laughs) (laughs) Number one. Have you recovered from the disappointment after coming in second to old baby's Jonathan Glenn Wood in the Louisville's tallest hipster pageant? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's he obviously cries himself to sleep. He's distraught. <laughs> <Does> he? <laughs> he's distraught. He's well, distraught. Well, d- didn't you get an honorable mention in the facial we're hair s- category? We're sorry to be so <laughs> hurtful right now. I wish I could talk. Yeah, it's just bad. Okay, <laughs> let's move on here. Number two. Crowhorn is a very interesting surname. Does your status as a Native American give you special advantages in the singer-songwriter arena? Yes, it does. And I've always thought of that name as a it sounds Native American. It to certainly me. does. When you lived on the Crowhorn Reservation, were you <laughs> resentful of the white man? Always. <laughs> Kill. Oh. Kill Whitey? Well, you won't say that. I was, I was like, wait a minute, I'm on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> no, not. it's okay. Just friends here. Number four. Uh, if you were asked to join the Pixies and the Bowerbirds, same day, same pay, which would you choose? Ooh. Pixies, man. I grew up on that. Oh, oh nice. There's your, I think it's probably Bowerbirds. a good move. Probably There's your good 90s. Uh... <laughs> what is it? He's going with the 90s. Keep him with the theme. Number five. Since we have you here, we thought we might be able to, you might be able to shed some light on something for us that we've wondered about. Is there any truth to the rumors about top secret hipster meetings taking place in the basement of the knock bar where you listen to Bon Iver and strike matches off the frozen head of Walt Disney <laughs> as you set hipster protocols and generally make fun of non-hipsters? I wish that would happen so much. 
<laughs> Man, I would be there in a Darn, second. Darn, I thought that was a real thing. <laughs> Sounds like what you had like the... a tip there. Was very... <laughs> I had some information. Some striking was matches a... off Walt Disney's frozen <laughs> <laughs> head. It was an unreliable <laughs> source, but still. <laughs> How could that not be true? Yeah, if no. that doesn't happen, I'm sad about it. <laughs> um, maybe you'll be invited someday. <laughs> I haven't got it the e bite yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be an e bite. <laughs> Number six. Do you believe Polly Shore is the Dick Van Dyke of the MTV generation? Yes. <laughs> he's, he's my Dick Van Dyke. I think he probably is. Polly Shore is my Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> The, oh my God. I think that sentence has probably never been uttered in the <laughs> history of man. I mean, I'll, completely I'll original thing to like say. That. First on our show, the first original thought yes. ever. Singer songwriter Adam Crowhorn has just <laughs> uttered a sentence. You know, the only other sentence that probably is more rare is uh, th- that's the banjo player's Porsche. <laughs> 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 Unless it's that's Steve Martin. True. Well, that's true. Uh, yeah, oh, that could be. <laughs> I think we could find out if that's ever been said by trying to reserve it as like an email. Uh, address we or, should. Yeah. <laughs> or like a dot com a domain yeah. name yeah <laughs> number seven when the hipsters are at long last rounded up and sent into re-education camps <laughs> for so called mainstreaming <laughs> 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 let's just assume as a courtesy they let you choose one album's worth of music to take with you to ease your transition what album would talented singer songwriter Adam Crowhorn Take with him. I don't know, maybe like the blue album, Weezer. Oh, nice choice. I think that would be a nice I think I could listen to that forever. That's a 90s icon. Yeah. Certainly. I mean, that that pretty much sums it up. I kind of said that to have something fast to say, too. (laughs) But it's a a good It's a terrific album. (laughs) Yeah, it is. It is. We all own it. Well, I'm assuming you won't have much time to to choose, so probably uh, just blue album. Grab it. (laughs) Number eight. In the song "No More Anywhere," you take you take on some of the bigger questions in life: uh, Are there evil forces at work, Did and I? is there a God? <laughs> Did you find it somewhat ironic that this song will uh, give you everlasting life floating around on the SoundCloud? <laughs> yes, that's good. That's good. I like that. It's just good a irony. One way. <laughs> Number nine. If you had to give up one of the following articles of clothing, clothing, I'm going to start this again. Clothing, Number nine. Yeah. yeah. If you had to give up one of the following artic- articles of clothing. Our, our, our clothes, clothes. That's hard to say. I don't know what it is. <laughs> articles of clothing. Would you stop wearing knit caps or pants? <laughs> uh Knit caps, because then I could still wear this, because it's not knit. Oh, Is it not? Oh my gosh! Man. I he found said, a loophole. Should have said toboggans. Yeah. No, dude, I'll, I'll give my Talented pants singer, up. I guess. Right? Adam Crowhorn. I was supposed to say pants, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you were supposed to say pants. It's but pants I didn't then. have a follow up, so it's not any kind of disaster. <laughs> 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 All right, here's the final entry for me, and then we're going to the speed round with Kevin Gibson. So. Right on. If you were forced to choose between working one hour at the Walmart service counter or watching the Michael Buble Christmas special, which would you choose? Buble special all day. <laughs> would wow. you? Cool. Did you watch it? No. I think you might but reconsider. I would. <laughs> you watch that by himself. If I went to work at Walmart, I think my dad would like disown me. Did he? Would he really? <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of your dad, is he in the music he industry? Was. He was. But now I can plug his. Uh, <laughs> he runs Coco Fit out in Middletown. It's a Coco it's an exercise Fit. place. It's pretty cool. Coco wow. Fit. Coco Fit. Club. All right, let's Coco not Fit. let him off like easily. It. No, no. The let's speed go on. round, <laughs> starring Kevin Gibson, is the difficult part of the Inquisition. Yes, it is. It's answer quickly. Okay. Answer quickly. Whatever comes to your head first. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Are you strapped in? <laughs> uh, I couldn't All find right. My belt. <laughs> Here we go. Beatles or Stones? Yes. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen or Brent Stringbean? Brent Stringbean all day. <laughs> Hamsters or hipsters? Hamsters. <laughs> hipsters or zombies? Zombies. Interns or ingrown toenails? Interns. Dick Van Dyke or Dick Van Patten? <laughs> Who's Dick Van Patten? <laughs> Mr. Sprig or Barbecued Pig? <laughs> Mr. Spriggs. <laughs> DJ Jazzy Jeff or Jeff the Brotherhood? Oh, come on. <laughs> Jeff. The DJ Jazzy Jeff the Brotherhood. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff the Brotherhood <laughs> or Avid Brothers? Yes. Avid <laughs> Brothers or Almond Brothers? Avids. Almond Brothers or Everly Brothers? 
Everly's. Everly brothers or blues brothers? Blues. <laughs> blues brothers or pointer sisters? Pointer sisters. Pointer sisters or sister Hazel? Oh, sister Hazel. Sister Hazel or Mumford and Son? Sister Hazel. <laughs> Mumford and Son or Sun Volt? Sun Volt. Sun Volt or Jefferson Son Airplane? Sun Volt. <laughs> Jefferson Son Airplane or Jeff the Brotherhood? <laughs> Jeff the Brotherhood. And the final question did you see what we did there? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have passed the speed round. Yes. Excellent work. I got very confused there. It was just some... He did not. See, he, he did a good he, job. He, he, he was ooh, on top he of that stuff. He man. I, that was he impressive stuff. Yep. Yep. All right, let's uh, just do a station identification real quick. Do we have another one of these? We, good. <laughs> we have another one. I don't know if it's in our best interest to play it or not. Oh, that gonna... reminds me of something, too. Before you launch that, I want to yeah. get Adam to do one for us. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, so let's, let's, uh, let's, for the let's let him hear this for inspiration. Yep, there you and go. Then and then we'll, we'll just we'll go straight with it. And let him do one off the top of his head. Uh, oh, okay. okay. I like that. All right. Station identification. Yeah, hello. This is Mr. Kaepernick, Bruce Springsteen's ninth grade shop teacher. Back in Bruce's day, all the kids used to call me Four Fingers Kaepernick. These days, the kids all call me Three Fingers Kaepernick. Anyway, you will listen to Flies on the Wall on CrescentHillRadio.com. So there you go. There's your template. I love that so much. What would you he say? Have to do all of that, does he? What would you no, say if you, uh, anyway. if you if uh, you could do a bumper for the incoming house flies uh, or for flies or for on the, the fly, wall? Sorry, flies on the wall on crestonradio.com. Go. You are listening to flies on the wall <laughs> on the radio. Yeah, that's terrible. It's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I'm singing. And I think you should dad. use that. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think that was a good take. I think that's. <laughs> no, try one more. One more. We want one that says, "This is talented singer songwriter." Okay. Yes, there that's you go. If you tell me to say it, what to say, it'll of be the Crow Horn Indian Nation. Otherwise, like I'm going to do like a deer <laughs> in the headlights the thing. Yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, do, do the talented singer songwriter thing, and yeah, there you go. Hi, this is talented local singer songwriter Adam Crowhorn, and you're listening to Flies on the Wall. Dude, that's a whole nother. Boom, there you go. That's, see, that's all we wanted. Is that so hard? The that only was... part that was lacking is of the Crowhorn Indian Nation. <laughs> oh, can, I, can we do it again? Can I do that? Yeah, yeah, do another one. Yeah, hold on. Everybody's <laughs> silent. Hi, this is talented singer-songwriter Adam Crowhorn from the Crowhorn Nation, and you're listening to Flies on the Wall. Now love that. it, love it. If we were in that Alaska, you know, that's what our bumpers would sound like, you know? So. <laughs> But I don't think people know where we are generally, do they? I don't think I mean, they know we're even here. I don't think we know where we are. <laughs> yeah, they put a like blindfold on me and brought me here. <laughs> All right, I think we should get uh, exactly. talented singer-songwriter Adam Crowhorn to play another uh, song. I think we should do Does that. Does that sound good to you? Sure. That sounds great. Talented singer-songwriter Adam Crowhorn? I would love to. How about uh, Shane of the Intern? You, some, you okay with that? Oh, can't wait. Okay, <laughs> cool. What's uh, this one going to be? Uh, it's one I haven't played in a while, but it's rec- it's on my SoundCloud. Uh, okay. So you can go out on the interweb and hear this? Yeah, yeah just it, search it, Adam Crowhorn Music, and it'll yeah, pop up. Yeah, you guys are better at that than and I am. And I'm telling you, it's uh, go look me some really out. good tunes on no, the No, we'll actually need there. to Google talented singer-songwriter Adam <laughs> Crowhorn. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that may work. <laughs> All right, here we go. I could call a cab right now I could take it downtown Throw some money around And I could buy the drinks You could hear what I think Then we both can leave Cause it's a short ride to the city Short ride to the city Make some plans with you, I could keep them too. Yeah, we should totally go downtown to see if what's for you is for me. Cause it's a short ride to the city. back 
home knowing I won't go alone And I can finally lay down and go to sleep Easy cause you're next to me You wasn't sure I'd do the city Can you tell really us about that good. song? Is it too old for you to remember? I haven't played it in a while. So. <laughs> Sounded good to us. Yeah, I mean, thank rocking. you. That's a f- newer-ish one. There was, okay. there was, I wrote like three of Was that not a Texas ones. song? Or yeah, yeah, they it were, was. It oh, was. Okay. Uh, there's about like maybe three or four new ones I wrote. Okay. Um, other than that, they're scattered throughout the yeah. 10 years. Yeah. So I'm trying to finally... Good stuff. So is, it, is this focus it? Is that going to be, uh, you think, on your, your, your album when you, when you finish oh, yeah. it next yeah, year? Yeah, that will be. Okay. Yeah, next it, year I like sh- that. That's because it should. I'm be. gonna go ahead and set that date. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? We've learned set a date now yeah. because if yeah. you don't, it'll drag on That's forever. True. But we'd love to have you in here when the albums. Yeah, you know, yeah. About I mean, I've been I've been playing. My friend Ryan, uh, we've been. He plays drums, and if anyone's mm-hmm. listening and likes the songs, and you play guitar or whatever. Anything? Hey, man, we can, we can help Catch you out. The train. You know, <laughs> do it. Yeah. Help. Well, we, I mean, we, we'd be we'd love to help right you out on. if you need some help. Well, so I tell uh, you what, that's a really interesting voice, Adam and stuff. This mm-hmm. has been super. Yeah, good. thank yeah, you, thank you. It's been for really me. nice been to have you in. And we, we we would love it if you uh, you know if you you book a gig or whatever. Yeah. To to get ready for this for this album, let us know. We'll make sure we plug it for you. And oh, for sure. Speaking of. Coming up this weekend. See what I did there with that segue? That was nice, nice segue. Very uh, professional. Friday, we've got at Haymarket Whiskey Bar, Discount Guns, one, oh, of, our, yep. one of our local yep, favorites. And good. Local yep. Villains, that's 9 o'clock, five-buck cover. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm just looking at the leoweekly.com uh, listing, so... Don't blame me if this doesn't actually happen. Uh, <laughs> Are you browsing or <laughs> at our, loitering? At our, uh, there? One of our haunts, uh, <laughs> the Rudyard Kipling, they've got something big going on there. Um, the Sandpaper Dolls, Joan Shelley, which is we're going to have her on the show next year, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, Joe Manning, Joe O'Connell, um, <laughs> uh, just lots this of is Joes. This is called like <laughs> Five Joes or. Yeah, lots of people. Uh, that's nine o'clock. Also five dollars. So there's something big going on there. I don't know what it is, but by God, you need. To but check the Red out. is a place that should be supported. A we good, we love good the place. Red. Yes. Yeah, we. I mean, we've played so many shows there, and not all well attended, unfortunately. And uh, you know, it's just what it is. It's in a weird place, but we love the room and <laughs> love the people. We love Ken so much and his yes. lovely yeah. wife Sheila. They're they're great people. So please go out and if you're looking for something to do on Friday night, go out and check it out. Uh, in Bear Nose and Floyd's Knobs, <laughs> Nervous Energy. Our friend Jeremy. Is, oh, his cool! Yeah, yep. yeah, good dudes. Yeah, yeah. We haven't. Uh, I haven't seen Nervous Energy. We saw Nervous Wreck recently, which is another. Oh, okay. Is that, that band. Nervous Energy is apparently the original. Uh, Nervous lineup. Wreck let us wreck their set. I think we. Yeah, a songs Nervous in. Wreck let us get up and play a couple songs, and they probably never will again. <laughs> It was it was me and Butch and, and Nick Pay and uh, it was sort of a drive by. Yeah, it was drive a drive by, by yeah. <laughs> um, and of course, Saturday is the show at Gerstle's, which our guests are going to be at, yep. uh, which we're ex- extremely happy about. So if if you are uh, really just not a good person, you could go to Hideaway Saloon to see Zombie Parade. <laughs> Um, Why would they want to do that? Yeah, well, if they're just not good people, I mean, you know. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Um, well, also, actually, there is a good show, a really good show, Roger Kipling well, Maybe Saturday. you should keep that to yourself. I'm sorry. I've got to talk about this show because I, I wish I could be there. <laughs> Danny Flanagan, Alan Rohde, John Mann, and Carter Wood. Have you never seen Carter Wood or heard her sing? 
I have not. Oh, God. I wouldn't have guessed Carter Wood to be a female. <laughs> she, oh, she's a female. <laughs> yeah, she has. Is she? <laughs> she has one of those beautiful voices I've ever heard. And yeah, nice. so I didn't know she was even going to be playing in town anytime soon. Yeah. Well. But um, yeah, so I'm going to miss that. And so are you. But, <laughs> yeah. but you know, again, if, you, if, if really, really good music isn't your thing, then go see that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Vernon also has Andrea Davidson and uh, uh, Dan, Dan Balds and, and uh, Appalachian. So there's another one. That's nine o'clock. Um, but really, you should be at Gerstle's because that's where talented singer songwriter Am Crowhorn is going to be. <laughs> right. And so is Shane of the Intern, along with us. So. You can shake their hand. Yeah. And <laughs> you can come <laughs> stare at me or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be doing well, anything. You can, you can get, a, get an autograph. You can, you can, you can, you can like, autograph your Drink PBR. Drink a beer with can. me. Hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you can get an MTV PBR can. He'll, he'll autograph it. You know? There you go. You can say, I like hey, that. I heard you on Flies on the Wall on CrescentRadio.com. <laughs> Well, that was a hell a of a bumper you recorded while you were there. A <laughs> <laughs> couple nice ones. I can't wait to use those. Can, uh, can, we, I, can, can I tell a dumb joke of the week? We haven't done that in a while. Well, I suppose you can, yes. I won't curse. Uh, okay. 